Convert Kit versus Active Campaign, which email software is right for you? Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I am all about creating an online business that works for you. And emails, whether you know people might say emails are dead, but the reality is that people still open emails and people still love emails. So if you are going to build an online business, you need to get your head around emails and having an email list. So which is the right email platform for you? Let's go have a look at which one works best for you. So Active Campaign is known for its powerful features, but there is perhaps a steeper learning curve to actually learn how to create campaigns and automations. And while it has extensive abilities to do things, it is a little more complicated. If you want to create a ca campaign, that means basically you're sending an email. So if I'm going to send an email, I would just, I'm going to edit this one and you can see, um, here's an email that I have created. So what I would do is write the text. You can write the text. You can add in images. Um, you can add in buttons. You can add in a video. It doesn't work so well. So I tend to add a GIF of a video and then um, link to my YouTube video. Um, so you can do all of those things. You can then schedule that. Um, you can schedule that um, video and um, you know, out it goes. Within automations, these are basically enabling you, if somebody joins an email list, you can then, so they opt into your freebie, you can then set up an automation so a series of emails automatically goes to them. So you could have a whole sequence of multiple emails, um, or you can just have one email before they join another list where they, um, it might be another automation, where they get a sequence of emails. So Active Campaign excels in automation. It's really good at it and it has a really robust platform. They have spent millions of dollars on the platform. You can segment your audience based on, you know, different criteria. Um, you can track engagement metrics really easily and um, it's has advanced automation capabilities. So it's it's quite a complex um, process, which, you know, is, is something that's really useful for a team um, and for enabling you to grow as an organization. It might be you start out as a solopreneur and you're growing and you want more functionality, then that can work well for you because it, it, it grows with you. Um, it also has a lot of like integrations and CRM systems um, so that you can, you know, which are things that I don't do, but you can, you can have lead generation tools in there as well. Um, we do um, integrate with um, text messaging. So you can add in text messaging to the platform and also e-commerce in there as well. So it's really very um, versatile for lots of businesses who want to, you know, join the dots in their marketing efforts with various third party tools. Um, Active Campaign has multiple pricing tiers. So the features um, that give you what you need at various price points determined by um, your budget and your size of your business. Um, but it is, I would say, it grows with you, but it's a little more complicated for a solopreneur starting out. So ConvertKit is known for its simplicity and user-friendly interface. It is makes it really easy for beginners to um, build systems, build emails, landing pages, um, and it's easy to set up the automated sequences. It walks you through step by step um, and it makes it really easy without any technical know-how.
So I'm using the ConvertKit trial and um, I've, I've had a look at ConvertKit quite a few times. I am currently on ActiveCampaign and I like ActiveCampaign, but I actually think ConvertKit is a better product for solopreneurs and when you're first starting out. And it's really for its simplicity and ease of use. Um, we can just look through some of the things that you can create. So you've got landing pages that you can build. Um, and this is you know, really easy to build a landing page very simply. Okay, so let's first of all create a landing page. And um, it's really, really easy to do, um, you know, some kind of opt-in for subscribing to newsletters, all of those things. And the easy thing about this means that you can start building an email list. Um, and so you can have your email list plus the um, the landing page and you can have that going in the beginning and, and they make it really, really super simple. So you've got kind of subscribe to the newsletter, um, depending on, you know, what, what your style is. And then here we've got, so we've done the forms. Now we want to look at subscribers. And so what you can then do is um, you've, you can segment your subscribers. So let's say you create a list that is for um, a particular group of, of subscribers. They subscribe to one particular list. So you can add a tag so you know, oh, they have, um, they have, you know, signed up to this particular email list. And so if they've, if they've signed up to a particular freebie, then it may be that you want them to go through a sales sequence. So it's like they sign up for this freebie. It means they want to buy this course and you can then tag them to say they've been through the sales sequence. They've signed up for this, you know, so you know who they are. And then you might have another set of, of, customers who are actual paying customers and so they will be all the course buyers in you know one subset and so you can message them with different offers and different um different information and then maybe for your membership you would have a different tag so you could contact those people so it's a way of pooling together a group of people who have one particular tag and then you can also segment your audience so that you can choose, right, I know this group are particularly interested in one topic. And so if you have quite a diverse audience, then you can, you know, say, oh, these might be the people who join my mailing list through LinkedIn, whereas another group of people are completely different and you want to segment them in a particular way. So um, let's just have a look at some email templates so you can see them. So really straightforward emails, um, you know, while these are pretty, actually the, the ones that convert best is um, these ones. So it's like, you know, very simple, add the content, um, you know, so it's kind of a clean email. You think of the emails that you get and as soon as you see lots of graphics and stuff, does that make you just want to press delete? Um, or if you see it and it's kind of more basic email, do you feel like, oh, it might be from a friend and you're more receptive to it? Think about you and what you, what works for you, what makes you more receptive. Don't necessarily fall for the trap that just because you've got a graphic on there means you stand out more. It doesn't always work like that in the online world. It's almost reverse psychology. So one of the great things, you know, with lots of systems, but here is actually building automation. So when you are selling and making money while you sleep, you need to have an automation. So people sign up for your freebie and from the freebie, they go into a sequence of emails. So you might have a sequence of emails, um, you know, five emails, whatever it may be. And then they go into the sales sequence. So you can literally create a sequence of emails and so you can have, so here they've set it up for you to make it really easy. ConvertKit also offers integrations with um, sites like WordPress, Shopify and Teachable, but it's slightly more limited in what's possible than say ActiveCampaign, but you can always use Zapier to join the, you know, join and hook two platforms together. 
ConvertKit's pricing structure is based on the number of subscribers you have. So it means that it's really transparent and predictable what you are going to be paying for. And it's great because that means you, you know for when you're first starting out and you can grow your email list. As, and, and as your business grows, you grow with it. When it comes to choosing between the two platforms, it really depends where you are in business. If you are a solopreneur starting out, I would definitely look at ConvertKit because it's really easy to use and the functionality is you know, straightforward and um, it walks you through step by step. But if you are slightly bigger in your team and what you want to do, then actually ActiveCampaign gives you that functionality and you can grow as your business grows. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and helpful. I am passionate about helping you build an online business and helping you create a system that works easily so you can live the life that you love and be with the people you love. If you like this video, I would love you to subscribe. Please click on the link below and I'll see you again soon. Bye 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 for now.